Never before have Hong Kong's district council elections had such resonance. The cheers are for the turnout, more than 70%, nearly double last time. And 17 of 18 districts went to pro-democracy candidates. This morning, one of the winners was with democracy activist Joshua Wong, greeting people on the subway. It seems so calm, just like Hong Kong used to look before six months of often violent protests against the Beijing-backed administration. We are not only satisfying on electing the district council, we need to have direct election to elect our government. The chief executive of Hong Kong should be voted by us. In a statement, Chief Executive Carrie Lam acknowledged that the results reflect people's dissatisfaction with the current situation and the deep-seated problems in society. But she's a servant of Beijing before a servant of the Hong Kong people. Officials from the largest pro-Beijing party bowed in apology to their supporters. We understand that most people in Hong Kong are very upset about the current situation and worry about our future. We respect and accept the results of this election. Some of the newly elected councillors confronted police outside the Polytechnic University to show solidarity with the students barricaded inside. Only a few protesters remain on the campus, terrified of the police besieging them. They are extremely frightened and they, so they, they wouldn't want to leave where they, have, they are hiding themselves to search for food. Why such desperation? Maybe because they know what the Chinese Communist Party is capable of. Because in Hong Kong they retain some autonomy. But in mainland China, no dissent is tolerated. Obedience to President Xi Jinping and the party is absolute. As Hong Kong voted, new documents emerged with evidence of the ill treatment of Uyghurs and other minority Muslims in the western region of Xinjiang. About a million people have been forced into re-education camps, which echo Chairman Mao's cultural revolution. I can't even begin to describe how abusive it was in the camp. We slept on the floor in a cell with cement walls and steel doors, big doors for two cells. You can't imagine a human being treated in this way. Muslims are forced to say they're atheists, and Han Chinese are sent to spy on them in their homes. In the class, they would tell us we were poisoned by religion, that Islam is an infectious disease, that it came from abroad. The Chinese government says all this is to prevent terrorism. Xinjiang affairs are purely internal to China. Media attempts to make an issue of it with despicable smears and slanders of China's anti-terrorism and de-radicalization efforts in Xinjiang will not succeed. The people of Hong Kong don't want to end up like this. Forced to conform, to lose all vestige of freedom, entirely controlled by Beijing. The stakes could not be higher. Well, earlier I spoke to Bonnie Leung and I started by asking her whether this was simply a symbolic result or something much more meaningful. Well, it's both symbolic and it's both uh, meaningful as well because, well, uh, if you look at the nature of the district council, it is only an advisory body. And normally it only takes care of uh, very district matter, for example, traffic, security of the district, etc. But at the same time, uh, if we win majority, which we did, we already uh, win a landslide victory, majority. Um, so. When we have majority, it means that in the next chief executive council, uh, chief executive election, it means that within the uh, small circled 1,200 people election committee, we'll have 117 seats more because we have won this majority. Uh, adding together with other pandemic seats that we have earned in the last uh, chief executive election, possibly we'll have more than 400 votes. Uh, so it's a uh, total. Uh, it uh, adds amount to about one third of the election committee. So it's very hard for the government to ignore uh, the district councillors' uh, voices in the future. When Hong Kong's leader Carrie Lam says that she'll seriously reflect on this result, 
what do you think she means? Can you draw any hope from that? Well, uh, just from her words, I afraid that I cannot because, well, they have lied too many times, and they had always said that they want to solve everything peacefully. But、uh, when you see their actions, is、uh, normally uh, usually、uh, the other way around. So、uh, we cannot just trust her words. We have to see actions. China obviously have a lot of red lines, but、uh, now is the moment that Beijing really have to consider: Do they? They want to carry on the iron-fisted manner, regardless of people's voices, or they now finally realize the voices of Hong Kong people and realize the fact that these millions of people will simply not vanish, will not go away, will continue to be here, and will continue to give troubles to the Communist Party if they continue to ignore us. So it is time for them to make a decision whether or not to declare war to these millions of people who are willing. Willing to peacefully、uh, vote, what we need really is for them to listen and respond to our remaining four demands. And Hong Kong people are not greedy; we are not unwilling to compromise. We've had some extraordinary revelations about the treatment of the Uyghur Muslim minorities in mainland China. Are you shocked by what you hear about that? Well, of course, but、uh, Hong Kong people—we、uh, always know the nature of the Communist Party.、Uh, but still, the scale and uh, also uh, the seriousness of. These matters still、uh, shock Hong Kong people, but I believe most importantly is that when this information are released,、uh, it is time for the world as well to realize the the horrible,、uh, the trouble of the Communist Party when they are、uh, doing this sort of horrible things、uh, to their own people. Then, when they're having more and more influence over the world, they will have no mercy. They will have、uh, just continue to suck up. Away, people's、uh, human rights and freedom from all over the world.、Uh, I'm so glad that although Hong Kong people had suffered a lot in this movement,、uh, but I believe that we are some kind of inspiration and visualization of what the Communist Party are willing to do, and they have no mercy to do. So、uh, it is a, re-、uh, a visualization, and hope. It will be an inspiration to the world to be more aware of what the Communist Party is doing around the world, and people should change their policies accordingly to avoid their human rights and freedom being sucked away.